Lost Twin Place here, back in another video. Go. How are you guys doing? Um, it has just been a bit. Uh, we recently just left off with the global leaderboards, and welcome if you just came from there and if you didn't. Um, also, if you are here, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and post notifications on, please. It means so much to me. Um, we are almost at 6k subscribers, guys, and I am so happy about that. So thank you a ton. Um, also, feel free to join the Discord. It is in the description, and it will mean a lot to me if you do join that. So. Um, we also just gave away like 50 bucks, so <laughs> where's that? <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome guys. So in this video, we're going to talk about the customizable sign. Now, the sign is something that a player will be able to customize in-game and other users will be able to be able to see it. Now, I actually left off, I don't know if I customized mine, let's see. Okay, I did not. Oh wait, I think I did, I don't know. Um, I left off making that uh, customizable sign limited edition thing, so this is like a limited edition item, but this is something cool you can add to your game. I just want to make a video on it because there's nothing really out there. Um, but what we're going to do is you're going to go to description, look for models, and it should say customizable sign. You're going to click that and it will bring you to this link right here. Once you get that, you're going to click this and it should say item owned. And there you go. You have the model now. Now all you got to do is load into, oh gosh, load into Roblox Studio and grab your toolbox and grab it up here in the top left. Whatever that should, it should be there if you're not, if not. Um, but it's going to load in like this and when you click it, it's going to say a few things. It's going to say ungroup and replicated, service script, service storage, start GUI. So we're going to do that real quick. Start a GUI. We're going to put that in there and we're going to go to server storage server storage server script we're gonna put it right there and replicated storage we're gonna put it right there perfect okay give me one second so once you do have that done you're just gonna delete this because we don't need it anymore and we're gonna look at the few things now we have the we have god why am i be so weird we have the replicated storage that says change text and um that is an event so we know when someone changes the text and then we have the game pass part this is where it gives the person the game pass so we're going to talk about that and then we have the tool which is going to take a while to talk about in the sign customization so a few things first let's look at uh the game pass real quick all you got to do is create a game pass for this or you can put it in their script or, or just as a starter thing you just drag it and put it in starter player if you want that but what it's doing is right here is you're just going to change this to your game pass id if you don't know how to do that you just go to your game go to store and then you create a game pass or just do that and you grab your nine number so once you do have that basically what you're going to do is you're just going to change this nine number right here and if you do ever change this name right here this custom model sign it's going to you're going to have to change this too but at the moment what we're doing is we're just going to do where if the player has a game pass we're going to check the game storage for that tool and we're going to give it to them when they leave when they enter all that kind of jazz so that's that it's pretty simple um, so you're gonna have that and then we have the change text event which we're gonna talk about um, but this is the sign uh, let me actually just bring this out to you guys so you can look at it real quick inside the sign we have the sign part and the handle now for the sign part you don't have to really worry about anything just leave it be um, but the sign part is this thing right here so if you want to change this go ahead you don't really need to if you want to customize the sign make it look good guys I'd recommend doing it because it looks ugly as heck but um, yeah, I'd recommend turning can Clyde off too, by the way, so it doesn't bug anyone. But basically what we have right here is a few scripts. They're kind of simple, they're kind of not. This is the weld script. Um, you don't have to really worry about that. But um, basically what happens is, is there's a touch interest and there's a handle. So when they touch it, they're gonna get it or whatever. They should be able to hold it either way. Um, and I think I have can drop off. Yeah, can be drop can is off, that's good. So inside the local script we have with the tool and whatever. So <laughs> and player's UI. So when the tool gets equipped and when it gets unequipped, basically what we're gonna do is make it so when they equip it, so they pull it out, the GUI is gonna pop up for them to customize it. When they unequip it, the GUI is gonna be false. They're gonna turn it off. So that's what we have for that. And we're gonna put that in server storage again. And then we're able to close these guys because we don't really need them. And then we're gonna look at the sign customization. Now, for this, it's a little confusing, but I think you guys will get it. I'm gonna turn these on visible so you can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like at first. Now, I kinda of customize this my own. You can change all you want, like up here with the colors and the text, open menu, all that jazz. What we're doing is we're gonna basically, if menu.visible equals false, then menu.visible equals true, button, close menu, open menu, that kind of jazz, and we'll just turn that capital. Um, so that's kind of that for that one. Uh, now, this is where it comes a little harder, um, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, let's actually do the text in sign color. 
uh, you can add all of these all the ones you want actually so like over here you're actually gonna see real quick there's like a dot to it um, and I'll show you how to do this but what we're doing is basically grabbing the local text part of the sign like the text color and we're changing it right here so if you want to create your own you'll just duplicate this right here and click duplicate and then you'll change the name so we'll go let's say brown and then we'll basically just go right here and we'll go next color and we'll go uh, brown like that super simple so you're gonna do that and then you'll have to reposition it see and then you just change that color too if you want where's the color right there um, but there we go okay so let's look at change text because it's a little more complicated I had to work on this just a bit more so inside change text um, we have a few things except box which is over here where we're gonna do this thing and then we have the text box okay so this is with focus loss or not so in this local script we have it where we grab the player okay and when they click when they're clicking on the sign text so the text that they want to enter enter in when they click enter so when they enter the text we're gonna set that text and we're gonna fire the server which is the change text part that change text we haven't replicated that's what we're firing and we're gonna do this this we're firing this and we're sending that up to the server so we're gonna grab the text that we just entered in and we're firing that up to the server once that gets fired to the server um, we're basically going to be changing it so on server event player dot sign text that we're grabbing that sign text and we're changing it to to string that I hope you guys understood that <laughs> so server events are kind of weird you can fire up ID so let's say for the music player system I'm doing right now we're gonna fire it up ID the player that they enter and then we're gonna get that ID right here we're gonna grab the player from it and then we're gonna grab the ID, the ID which I guess would be sign text and we're gonna change that text that was originally there to that new text so that's pretty much that for that um, but we're gonna make this invisible I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like so give me one second okay sorry that I'm rushing this guys I hope you understand what I'm trying to say but so let's see this real quick so when you equip this sign it's gonna pull up that menu you're gonna click it and it's gonna say all these things right here and you can keep opening them closing them and what we're doing is right here let's say text color we want it to be red see how I just changed red blue orange all that jazz so let's get orange um, okay it looks like orange needs a little fixing wait or does it no it doesn't okay they just didn't change they turned it to white so recommend to change that <laughs> so as you can see it changes the text color so that's really cool and then right here let's say okay sub to twin there we go baby there we go that's that so that's what you got to do it's super simple um so as you can see it just happened so now that works and then when I pull it out it's all the same because it's still in the same thing we'll go okay you're bad kid okay and I hope this has filtering I don't know if it is I think it does <laughs> Let's pray. We pray with us. Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video Please hit that subscribe button. It is in the description and I will see you guys in the next one um, Planning to get a bunch of video guys out a bunch of videos and there's most be tutorials And then we're actually be doing a lot of live streams soon enough here and we're gonna look at a lot of content more off from Roblox because It's not the best. Just kidding. Love you guys. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Peace out <laughs>